Have you ever been drawing something and then done this? Well, maybe I can help. You see, your brain is made up of billions of neurons. When you draw something new for the first time, some of those neurons fire connections between each other. The more you practice drawing that thing, the more neurons fire up and the more connections you make. That helps you become better and better at what you do. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an easy paper sculpture of a neuron. If you'd like to know more information about the incredible research done by Carol Dweck on growth mindset, check out the description in the video below, as well as another video about more about how our brains learn. So to make your neuron model, you'll need a pencil, two colours of felt tip pens, some sort of black sharp your marker, two colours, you can use poster paint or watercolours, a few strips of paper or card, A3 paper, a straw and scissors. First thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to work right in the corner, I'm going to work in a bit and same the other side, in a bit. Okay, and we're going to draw the cell body of our neuron. So draw one circle here and opposite leaving a gap, the other circle there. We're going to colour this circle in. This is called the nucleus and it's at the centre of the neuron. It's a very important part where messages come and first go into the nucleus. So we're going to colour in now the other circle Remember, you can use any colour you like for this. Around it, you're going to use your other colour and draw a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. Remember, this is all about enjoying yourself and thinking about how we learn and how mistakes are okay because they help us to learn. Let's draw a circle around this bit as well. Okay, once we've done that, the next step is to use our paint. So I'm going to put my paint in the middle and the first bit I want to do is pop paint around these. So you can pick up the paint how you like. I'm going to pick up a blob with the end of my straw and put a blob of it around each of these circles. I'm going to start with one colour first and then I'll move on to the other colour. Once I've put placed it down, I'm then going to blow. And notice I'm blowing away outside of the central nucleus because we are now creating something called dendrites. And you can have lots of fun in the directions that you blow them. For the next bit, using the end of your straw, pick up one of the colours of the paint and draw a wiggly line from one, from the cell, the nucleus, to the other end, which is called the axon terminal. That's the end of the neuron. And also colour in that side because it's not the same as the nucleus. So I'm just going to change that colour and I might even go round a little bit as well. This bit is usually smaller than this side. For the last little bit, you can make these a little bit fatter and not as many of them as on this side. So you can see I'm just using the end of my straw and I'm just making a few of them fatter. On this side, you can pick up some paint 
and just around the nucleus just draw a bit with your paint so that it kind of looks like this it doesn't really matter too much but you can see I'm just filling in the paper that's around the nucleus okay once your neuron is dry you're going to take your sharpie or your black marker and just go round the outside of the neuron that you've drawn. You can see that I'm coming in and coming out and going round the ends. And then I'm going to go along the axon, which is the middle bit, and I'm going to make sure that this bit is smaller. And once I've done this, I'll then cut it out along my black lines. Finally, I forgot to tell you, you will need some glue for this. You get your coloured card strips or paper strips and you glue them along the axon. These things have a special name, they're called the myelin sheath. And they protect the neuron so that when messages go from here all the way to here, they are safe and they don't get destroyed along the way and forgotten. It helps to keep everything that you learn that's new protected in your brain and not easily destroyed so that you're learning can keep happening and get better and better. So all you need to do is put your card round the my round the axon and glue together the myelin sheath. Like this. You could do a few of those along the axon. I hope you've enjoyed creating your little mini sort of paper sculpture of a neuron. Imagine that these are so tiny that there's 85 or more billion of them in your brain. It's pretty incredible. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please remember to have a growth mindset and remember that when you fail, it's okay. It's helps you learn and that you can do more practice and get better and create more connections between all the billions of neurons in your brain. Please do like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and check out my other artwork on Instagram and Facebook at Nash Henkel Art.